Hello, I'm not sure if the first clip that I filmed today, I did film while I was doing my makeup this morning, but I've changed phones because I went to get my new phone, that's what I've been doing today, and because of that, I don't think I've got the clip anymore. But basically, I went Christmas shopping today. Happy Saturday, happy December. So today I went Christmas shopping, bought some gifts, wrapped some gifts, um, come back, been watching Elf. I went and got my phone as well because Zach um, got my phone sent off, so I've got a new one. And I've also got my necklace and I'm so happy, like honestly, I'm so pleased to have my necklace back. It felt so strange without it. So yeah, these are the presents that I've wrapped today. So I've just wrapped a few. I've wrapped the ones that I've got basically and I've decided that I'm gonna add a little coin to everyone because I meant to buy two bags of coins because I've got these bags for my brother and my cousin because I've got them like an art kit so I thought I'd just put it in a big gift bag. So I bought them a bag of coins to go in each. But I accidentally bought three and I don't really want to eat them. So I've decided just to stick them on people's presents because it looks quite cute. So this is my dad's. I've also got wooden gift tags which are from Tiger. I wanted the paper ones that you could recycle but they didn't have any. So I went for wood instead. Oh, have I just done this? No. That's for my stepmom. That's for my mum and then that was for my mum as well. So yeah, that's just what I've done so far. Most of the rest of my presents are coming through the post and they're going to home because I didn't want to order them here just in case they didn't come in time. Um, I finally found some brown paper. I have been, I can't even tell you how many shops I went in today looking for brown paper. In the end, I ended up going for Paper Chase brown paper, which is actually the only one that I found. Um, and I'm just going to read the little tag to you because this is eco friendly recycled gift wrap and it's also recyclable so <laughs> yeah i was that's what i was looking for basically i didn't want to use normal wrapping paper i don't want to end up using wrapping paper that's just going to end up going in a wasteland somewhere like it's just not environmentally friendly so that's what i did and then to like spruce it up a little bit i bought these two ribbons these are like strings from tiger and i also bought this ribbon from Tiger and I've got two different types of um, wooden tags. So I've got the Christmas trees and the little like gnome elf things. So yeah, oh, and I bought this as well. I bought um, some penguin tissue paper because this is from Responsible Sources and it's recyclable. Um, just in case I ran out of things really, I didn't really want to buy a big roll because I should have enough in that roll, but just in case I wanted to get something that I knew was recyclable. And then I've just got some white tissue paper, um, just to go in the bottom of the bags that I showed you because I've got them quite a bit, but they're not massive things, so I'm not sure it'll take up the entire bag. They're quite big bags, but I want to make sure that they were big enough. So I just thought I'd just fill the rest of the bag with tissue paper. So yeah, that's my plan. I've watched Elf. Um, I think I'm going to put another Christmas film on actually and I'm going to sit and write my gift guide which is going live tomorrow. It was meant to be going live on Wednesday but I just haven't had time to do it. I've not been in the mood. I've been trying to get myself in the mood to do it and I think I finally am. So I'm going to sort all this mess out and like take my presents back upstairs and stuff to keep them safe and then I'm going to put this on. I don't know what I'm going to put on actually. I've watched quite a lot of Christmas films recently on here. But I'm going to put our Christmas film on and then I'm going to sit and try and sort my gift guide out. Oh, we're a bit dark. Um, before Strictly Later. Oh, now I've got all the rubbish bags in the back. So, that's what I'll have the rest of the day. Hello, good morning. It's Sunday. I was up really late last night, even though I didn't want to be. So my plan was just to come upstairs, do some dissertation stuff, and then go straight to sleep. Um, and then I wasn't that tired after doing dissertation stuff, so I was like, I'll watch some YouTube. Ended up up till like 1am, like half 1 in the morning, I went to sleep. So not ideal. Um, but it is 10am, I've been up since 9, so that's not that bad to say that I didn't go to sleep till half 1. Um, to get up at and to be honest i've been really needing to go and get some eggs because i really want scrambled egg on toast 
and also we're turning the freezers off when we go home for Christmas and I've got one and a half loaves of bread in the freezer so I've got a lot of bread to eat in the next two weeks. That is my plan. I'm going to go and just get eggs. I'm literally just going to walk there to get eggs. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Went to South to Morrison's. It's closed, it doesn't open till 11. I am so hungry and I can't have anything for breakfast because I need to buy things that go with the things for breakfast. Like I've got cereal but no milk, got bread but nothing else to go on it at all. Like I've literally just got bread. <laughs> I haven't got butter, anything else. So that's what I was going to buy and then now I'm just going to stay hungry for 40 minutes until Morrison's opens. Which is really annoying because I even waited till 10 a.m. to get ready because I thought it opened at 10. Bonjour. Um, so I'm gonna go to the gym now. I've got my short leggings on, which is not ideal because cold. And I also meant that I had to shave my legs, but I can't find any of my leggings. So that's great. Don't know where they are because my wash basket is empty apart from hand wash things, which I haven't done because I'm gonna take them home to my nan. So like, it's not. In, they're not in there. And they're not in any of my drawers or my wardrobe because I've been through everything. So I'm very, very confused. But I'm going to go anyway because otherwise I'm going to be late and I'll see you later. Hello, I'm back from the gym. My room's a mess in the background so ignore that. I didn't end up going to box size because there's only one other guy that turned up and he looked really strong. And that meant that I would be partnered with him. And um, box size isn't fun when you're like with a partner that's stronger than you. Um, when you're not equally matched, it's not fun for either of you really. Um... So yeah, I just decided to give it a miss, but I did do quite a good gym sesh, and I had a shower, and I used Snow Fairy body conditioner as that got me, and oh my god, it smells amazing, if I do say it to myself. Um, and it's just occurred to me that I never showed you my tattoo, that I never showed you my tattoo, so yeah, I'm going to show you my bean. Okay, here, oh, this is hard to film, here is my bean, it's just a simple outline was originally going to get it around my um, torso area but the guy said that it wouldn't look good so I trusted his instinct. I've gone from on my ankle and I just got the outline just because that's all I wanted. It's not because I was too much of a wuss to take the pain. It felt weird actually. It didn't feel painful. It just felt strange. Um, it's literally just because that's all I wanted. Um, I've got ideas for other tattoos and I want them all outlines basically so that's just what I like. Zach's looks really cool, his is really different to mine even though they're matching. His is like shaded and that goes with what he wants and like the other tattoos that he wants and the one that he's just got so that's fine but yeah I just wanted mine just a plain bean with the outline. The guy was like are you sure are you sure and I was like yes I am sure and even if I, I did think afterwards that Zach's looks really cool but even if I did want it shaded I could always have that done but I couldn't take it back to an outline if I'd had it shaded so yeah I just went for the shit for the outline for now but I actually really like it um and it's really cool actually because not many people have noticed so it's really funny when they do actually be like have you got a bean on your ankle and it's like yeah I do So Monday didn't go well, um, to say the least. I went into uni and got absolutely soaked. I sat in the library trying to work, but I was so wet that I was cold, like, and I was shivering. And then it just started making me feel really unwell. And I was like, you know what, I can't stay here like this. So I've brought the books that I needed home. I've checked them out and brought them home. Um, and I'm just gonna try and get some work done. But first, I've had a shower. And to be honest, my hair wasn't much drier than this when I got in the shower. But I've had a shower because I felt disgusting. I rewashed my hair because I just got absolutely soaking wet. Um, and it wouldn't have been nice for tomorrow when I've got work. And then I'm just gonna sit here and have a little break and have some lunch because like, I need to like, not think about this morning because this morning just went to poo but oh well at least I'm not as busy today as I usually am on a Monday because in which case it wouldn't go very well but I'm gonna I'm meant to have a seminar but I'm just gonna email my tutor and say that I really don't feel very well because I really just don't I feel like really sick and disgusting and just
feel like the cheese is in my um, way. But I feel like it's been ages since I've done a vlog, well, updated a vlog, while I've been cooking. Now this isn't the best angle and you probably can't see me, but we're just going to have to work with what we've got right now. So, I'm making a pasta bake tonight just because that's what I really, really fancy. But all I had in the cupboard, sauce-wise, was a tin of chopped tomatoes, which I have done a few times before, which has been, it's been alright. Um, it's not been, like, terrible or, like, uneatable. And some of them have been quite nice, but it's always just been a little bit sour. So tonight, I've tried to put a little bit of lure pack in, because I'm thinking that might um, sweeten it a little bit. I'm also thinking that I might just put a really tiny dash of sugar in it. Um, because I really don't want it to be too sour. To thicken the sauce, so basically I've got a tin of chopped tomatoes in a pan. It's a smart nice as the tin if you want to know more detail. Um, and in it I've just put some lure pack, a little bit of flour to, thick, to thicken. Um, and some sugar, just a little dash of sugar. Um, it's not like cooking powder yet, so the lure pack's not started to break down yet. And then I'm also going to pour like a little handful of cheese, but I haven't got much left in here. Can you see? I've only got like this much. So I'm just going to put a little handful like actually in the sauce because I want to top um, it onto the pasta and stick it under the grill so that it makes it more like a bake. I'm just going to stick it under the grill for like five minutes when it's thoroughly cooked. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing on this Wednesday evening. I don't know if the butter thing is going to work, but basically I'm trying to make it more like a creamy one because I have the home fried um, pasta sauces and they're my absolute favourite. But I couldn't afford that to keep in my cupboard. So... We're making our own, and I just don't want it to be too tomatoey, which is just trying why I'm, why I'm trying to like weaken the tomato flavour slightly with like with the sugar and with the lure pack. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so here we have it. It actually looks and smells really good, if I do say so myself. So my hopes are quite high, but I'll let you know once I've actually tried to eat it. And this isn't one portion, by the way. I've made some for tomorrow too. Hello, so that past week was really nice. I actually think that I might have found the perfect make your own pasta bake sauce recipe now, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, so I've had a shower, clearly. I was going to have a shower last night, but I was going to go to the gym this morning. So I thought, oh, I'll just leave it till I've been to the gym. Then, um, I don't know if I said on here, but when me and Zach went to Winter Wonderland, which was like a week and a half ago, um... I actually fell over and hurt both of my ankles and my left ankle has just been really playing up it's been really hurting me um and there's some days it's been fine like Monday that's why I went to the gym then and then on Tuesday it was really bad um but I hoped it'd be all right this morning got up and it just wasn't it wasn't great I could barely put my weight on it so I was like oh I was meant to be going to like small storms and I was like I really can't do that right now can I so I didn't go to the gym but I am going to go tomorrow I'm going to go to Zumba <laughs> But yeah, I actually managed to do quite a bit in the end. I didn't really manage to do what I planned to do, but I have managed to get some dissertation stuff done. And now I'm just sat ready for Emma's lab. Um, and then later I'm going to watch The Greatest Showman Making Of, which Zach sent me on YouTube earlier. But I was doing dissertation stuff, so I was like, oh, I'll watch it a little bit later on. So yeah, that's the plan for tonight. I'm just going to chill out now. Have kind of chilled today. I've had quite a chilled but working day and I've done quite a bit tonight. Um, I've written about 700 words for my dissertation, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it was things that I've been waiting to write for a while and things that I couldn't progress until I'd written. So I'm really happy with that. And then the plan for tomorrow is to go into uni before my lecture, um, get some stuff done, go to my lecture, go and get more stuff done in the library, come home, get changed, go to Zumba, hopefully it'll work out because I had to like fight for my place in this Zumba class, so I really really don't want to miss it, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow, Good night. Hello, happy Thursday, I am going into uni today but I haven't set off yet, um, 
because I don't need to. I've got 15 minutes, so I just thought I would quickly update the vlog. Um, the last few days have been really tough, to be honest. Um, I've really struggled with that going back. And, yeah, I've just been really struggling in myself. And I've just kind of wanted to stay in bed all day and hide away from the world. Today I do feel a lot better. Um, so I am going to go into uni. I, to be fair, I haven't missed uni because I have those days like off anyway. But I am going to go into uni today. Um, and I'm going to go to my lecture and then go to the library for a few hours. I have got a gym class later so I don't want to be too like late in the library. I think I'm going to leave the library about 4 o'clock. Um, I am wearing Zach's jumper today with leggings and then one of Zach's thermals underneath. Basically wearing more of his clothes than mine. I've actually got my gym leggings on as well. Not because I'm going straight to the gym because I'm actually planning on changing my gym leggings probably. But just because I wanted to be comfy and I wanted a big hoodie and I wanted leggings that don't have a hole in them. And I couldn't find my other pair that are like thermal that don't have a hole in them. So I just thought I'll wear my gym leggings. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't really care. At this point in the term, I don't really care what I look like. But I wanted to put Zach's hoodie on because I don't have a coat with a hood. And it is raining again today. And when I looked outside, it looked how it did the other day when I set off, which wasn't that bad. Then obviously you saw how soaked I got on Monday. So, really scared of that happening again. And I don't have an umbrella. So I wanted something with a hood so I can put a hood up. Um, because I don't have any coats with a hood. So... This may well be one of the most clashy outfits I've ever worn, but I am not getting soaked today. I'm determined I am not getting soaked today. <laughs> going to the gym later but I'm gonna to have to wear luckily not all of my trainers in wash I've got one pair so I'm gonna to have to wear them which I've just found out um and put these ones straight in the wash as well which is great but yeah I'm back now I actually managed to finish my dissertation today um it's not like completely like ready to send off finished but I finished writing I've got a few things that I need to um like swap and change still and a few things that I need to rewrite but that's like no biggie compared to what I have been doing so now I've got like maybe an hour before the before I need to set off to go to the gym so I'm thinking that I might do a little bit of vlog stuff and then obviously get ready I might have a little bit to eat as well I might get like a bowl of cereal or something because I'm a bit hungry and yeah that is the plan. I'm really glad that I made pasta bake last night because that means that I can just come in from the gym, put it in the microwave and then eat it. And it's going to be really nice and I'm going to really like it. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. You have no idea how close I was to forgetting to finish this vlog. Did I speak since I've been in the shower? I don't know. can't remember. But either way, I had my pasta bake. Had a really nice chat with Zach tonight actually. Really nice chat. Like... It's always nice to talk to him, but you know when you just end up having a really good conversation? Yeah, it's one of those nights. So I'm happy. I just finished watching um, Christmas with the Mill and Gordons. Like, honestly, Lydia's vlogmas is the only one that I'm, like, successfully keeping up with because I'm literally just obsessed. Like, the intro for a start is just amazing and, like, yeah, I just really like Lydia. So, yeah, I've been watching that. And... That's pretty much it. I'm going to watch I'm a Celeb. I've made... Oh, I've put all my bedding on. You know, because I had the spilt milk accident the other night. Did I vlog that? Maybe not. I had a spilt milk accident. I had to put everything in the wash. So I've put my bedding back on. And yeah, I'm happy. This time next week, this will be my last vlog in Leic Like, the, the next vlog will be my last vlog in Leicester. Until after Christmas. Which is exciting and scary at the same time. So, the next vlog may be very, very short. Because it's probably going to be the busiest week of my life. 
But for now, I'm going to sit in bed and I'm going to watch Hammer Sleb and pretend that third year problems and third year worries are not a thing. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you want it. If you don't, I don't blame you. And I'll see you next 